Thank you for tuning in to Some Bad Entertainment. We hope you enjoy the program. What's up everybody? It's me, SBNer. Welcome to a game known as Ruby Grim Eclipse. This game received a full release not too long ago. Um, it is by Rooster Teeth Games Productions. It's about the it's about the Ruby series. It's a spin-off game. So, who cares? Anyways, now I know about probably 90% of you guys watching probably don't care about this game. Um, but for the 10% of you that are watching, which is like three people, uh, and who didn't get the game in early access before the game's price went up to like $400 million, congratulations, you can now live vicariously through me, unless you're actually good at video games, in which case, this will not feel like reality. But if you're bad at video games, then it will, because I suck at this game. And, um, for those of you who don't care about this game, well, you're also in luck, because I'm pretty sure it'll be very entertaining to watch me play horribly at a game. Or maybe I'll play good. Who knows? I don't know. I've only played a little bit of this game. As you can see, I've only made it to Chapter 3, but we're going to start with Chapter 1. Um, there we go. Select my character. I'm just going to go with the first character there. I'm already at level 7. You can see how much I suck at this game, considering I'm only on Chapter 3, and I'm already level 7. I'm going to refund my skill points so that way I can start with a clean slate and then uh, immediately give myself all those skill points right back. But, whatever. Now I'm playing single player here because multiplayer is just a bit too slow and um, that and I don't have anyone to play with, so... I mean, I could play online with random people, but that wouldn't be... that'd be dumb. So I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade all my crap now, so that way I am practically invincible for this first level. But we'll see how that goes. I guarantee you. I can guarantee I will still die. So let's go. Oh, yep, there we go. See, we're already starting to be attacking the air. And the game is also lagging. Ah, oh, but good news. I just eviscerated that thing in three hits. That one took a little bit more, though. Oh, yes. It's a good thing that that shot did not hit anything. That would have been an absolute shame if I did damage. Ow. Bastard. Keep me in the seat. Ow, what the f- Really? Okay, Sonic the Hedgehog, stop it. Think you're all hot stuff because you can burrow underground and then slap me in the ass cheeks? Alright, thank you for that little spiel, Bill Nye. Now let's get moving. Now it's time to rock and roll. This is where the game starts picking up. Listen to this music. Now. You guys probably can't hear the music very well, but... It doesn't matter. The music's still awesome. Now at least I get to hear it. And that's all that really matters. Oh goodness, where am I? I can't see anything. My goodness, the game keeps giving me a freaking camera angle. It keeps putting me up close and personal with the game. I feel like I'm actually there. That'd be pretty amazing though. That's something I've always aspired to do. Is kill creatures with a scythe. That's also a gun. That's a lie. I've never thought about actually doing that in real life. Also because I never really thought that it'd be possible. But also because I never actually thought that it would be something I could do or be fun. Ah, oh, now here comes the big boy. Come at me, Hyberdinger. Look at that. Well, it's not like it was really that difficult. I mean, it's only a few enemies. Unlike in multiplayer, where you just get absolutely swarmed. Though multiplayer is a bit easier, considering you have more players. While in this, you're all by yourself. 
Ah, oh, yes. There we go, splendid. So for some reason, every single time I get to this point, the game freezes. No problem, Professor Porkchop. Alright, there we go. Just destroyed more ancient vases. Because, you know, it's not like you can take those and sell them to a museum for a lot of money. You can break them and, you know, gain slight amount of experience. Alright, now let's see if I get destroyed here. I've died every single, like, every single time I've played this level, I've died at this point. At least once. So let's see if I can turn. Besides, oh shit, run! Run! Sprint! Wow. Okay, there we go. The game is running at 12 frames per second right now, which I don't know if that's going to appear slow or if it's... Oh, wow. I don't know. It'll definitely appear slightly laggy. I know that much. Wow. Fuck. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Thank goodness that didn't hit. That would have been an absolute shame. Alright. I don't know how I killed that enemy all the way over there. What the frick? Alright. There we go. Just slap him in the face. Excuse me. Pick that up. There we go. Yeah, we win. Yay! My goodness, this is the day I've always waited for. A day where I'm not horrible at playing a game. Of course, that's only going to last very, very temporarily. Ah, more boxes. Here we go. Gotta make sure I take out these boxes. It's the most dangerous threat in this entire game. You leave one box behind and the universe explodes. However, you leave one box behind and shred... In, in, you leave one box broken, and the world is safer. I really messed that up. There we go. Look at that. And look at this. I've leveled up to level 8, and I'm only on level 1 of the entire game. What does that say about me? Your ultimate pull increases by one. Why would I not want that? Alright, let's continue. Found the control center, but these boxes are of more importance. Ah! Artifact. I am now queen of the castle. Control center. Easy enemies. Ow. I say that as I get hit. Alright. Okay, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Good gracious. Oh, have some mercy. My goodness. Wow. I'm getting pinballed back and forth here. Jeez. I don't remember the bull borbs being this dangerous when, they play when I played Pikmin. Yeah. There we go. Ow, are you serious? There we go. Yeah, hit me from the back like that. Okay, wow. Hey, that's not your control center to hit. That's my control center to hit. Back off, Jack. There we go. Oh no, wave two. The wolves are incoming. Wow. That was an impressive thundershock by Pikachu. 
However, that second one wasn't quite impressive. Ow. Ow. Splendid. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, wow. My shields are down again. Who would have thought? Oh my goodness, I actually got the shield recharge. That's about as rare as an elephant doing a headstand. In fact, I think it's even more rare in this game than in Halo. And in Halo, I rarely ever get the shield regen, like, at all. I mean, I guess that was obvious, but I basically spawned with my shields down in that game when I play online. But my goodness, the fact that my shields, I, the fact that I get a shield recharge more often in that game than I do in this is just unbelievable. Which is, which is a true sign of how much I actually suck at this game at some points. It's the fact that I'm better at Halo than this game. And at the time, when I first played Halo, and when I still play Halo, I still feel like I'm the worst game Halo player ever. But now that I played this, I've realized I'm no better than the fucking gingerbread man trying to play this game. Look at that. I'm down at my shields again. And I'm dead. That counter says one death, but in reality, it is actually 100 million deaths. Oh, I never think about not having my mustache wax on me. How could you, how could you even, how could you even imply such a thing? Who in their right mind does not have their mustache waxed with them at all times? Probably anybody else. Wave two. Oh no, here they come. Watch me get clobbered. Because I can guarantee you that's going to happen. Oh yes, there we go. Splendid. Special attack didn't work. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh yes, and the counter attack didn't work either. Oh yes. Third time is the charm. No, it is not. I am still getting the business right now. Hey! That's my control center. Not yours, it's mine. I'm taking it for myself. And then I'll sell it on eBay for a large sum of money. I'm expected to get something out of this at least, considering what it is I'm doing. It's not like I'm really getting paid for this. It's free labor. Because you know, it's not like the US Navy SEALs could achieve the same thing. You have to send a kid out to clear all these dark creatures of the night. Yep, here we go. Let's see. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, the counterattack actually worked. Oh, oh, wow, double? Oh my goodness, that's about as rare as winning the lottery. Oh, wow. What about the special? Holy crap, the special worked too? Wow. Nothing is off limits in a world so seriously strange. My goodness. Who would have thought? Ow. Alright. Shit. Aw. Oh, yep. This is about what I remember. Aw, oh, here we go. I got some. I got some surprise. I got, I got a surprise for these assholes. Ha! Yep. Killed two out of the four, which is about... I was expecting. In fact, I was expecting me to kill less. I was expecting to hit all the air particles rather than the enemies. Is that, is that the end of the wave, or is there still is there still one more enemy? Ah, oh, yes, there he is. You finally decided to come out from your hiding spot, didn't you, Xenomorph? Beautiful. You're asking a lot from me here, Professor Peter. I am not going to be able to hold on much longer. I am going to die in 
very short amount of time should I not receive a victory soon. Ow, oh, goodness. Oh, yes, there we go. The special didn't work. What about now? Ah, wow. It actually worked that time. Alright. My goodness. Oh, wow. Fear the electricity. Not even a Raichu could hold up much electrical power. Ow. You know something? Why? Why am I the one clearing all these out? Why? Why isn't the like the military or like an exterminator out here doing this? Or Professor Peter Park Parker over there? Why isn't he clearing all these out? Is it because he's so old and fat that you know hunting these creatures is too much for his back or something? Well, I mean, I'll, I can. I can reward him with a hamburger if he so wishes, but my goodness. Why make a kid go through all this? I mean, granted, the hormones can really generate a lot of ass-kicking abilities, but it's not like they're really that effective. Alright, I got some special for these assholes. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. My goodness, it feels good to finally actually be good at a game. Wow. Oh, now here's where my luck runs out. He's with this thing. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, yes. Splendid. Keeps hitting me with those freaking right hooks like he's Mike Tyson. Wow. My goodness. Have some freaking mercy. Oh, yes, there we go. Look at that, I'm even celebrating. That was amazing. I actually beat the level. Wow. And I only died once. That is spectacular. Now loading chapter 2. Eh, well, I'll go ahead and do chapter 2. Maybe I'll split the videos, who knows. Another area, another security network in need of repair. Keep an eye out for any clues about who did this. We're all counting on you. You know, I think I know who did it. I think it was Kim John Oink. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. More boxes to clear out. Finders, keepers. All these menacing boxes and vases. It's a good thing they called me. Just have these bo vases and boxes still been left standing. They could enslave the entire human race. Oh, look at that. I even found a trapped soul inside that vase. Look at that. They're already capturing the ghosts. Like the fucking Ghostbusters. That's not your job. That's the Ghostbusters job. Oh, well, look. See? Another one. than the grim you fought before. When it sees you, it will spin before it charges. While it's spinning, dodge out of the way. You will be disoriented after it passes. That's when you strike. Alright. Come at me, Sonic the Hedgehog. Ah! Yes, there we go. That was precisely what I wanted to do. Holy shit, that thing just took down my shields in one hit. Ah, yes. Ow, fuck. Alright, I, I could just stand back here and just keep sniping him from a distance. Oh, another member of the Suede family dares challenge me? You saw what I did to your brother, you really want to walk down this path? This is not a very safe path for you to be walking down. You sh Ow, fuck. Alright, yeah, it's not a very safe path for you to be walking down, for me. Oh, alright, wow. That was actually pretty close. Had I missed that, I probably would have been toast. Alright, here we go. You will be turned into bacon. 
Alright, fuck. Wilbur is kicking my ass. Yeah, there we go. Oh, more. No, oh, twins. Ow. Alright, so these guys really ha don't have very much knockback. Ow, fuck. Oh, sh- Woo! That was... Dancing on the line between life and death there. Ow. Alright, you never really associate pigs with being these menacing creatures, but my goodness. Ow. Ha! Ah! Feel the pain. Ah, more boxes. That was a close call. The earth is now ten times safer. Oh no, more boxes. They're everywhere. Oh goodness. There's just no end to the box of salt. There's just so many of them. There's too many of them. Can't kill them all in time. It's a good thing they called me. There's a lot. There's way too many boxes for this place to be safe. This is the real threat, not these creatures of Grim. It's the fucking boxes here. And the vases. Can't forget about the vases. Look at that. They may appear fragile, but on the out, but on the inside, they are dangerous forces to be reckoned with. I know it's a stretch, but maybe you operate that mechanism to extend the bridge. Oh my goodness! Good thinking, detective. This is a regular old Sherlock Holmes out of here. I would have never suspected that mechanism to be used to operate the bridge. I mean, it's the only giant stone gear here. Now that makes no sense. That gear was absolutely silent. How the hell does it attract Grim? It didn't make a single noise. It's like that part in Left 4 Dead where you activate the forklift and then the zombie the zombies are alerted. But right before that is you blow up a gas station and the zombies don't aren't alerted by that. But now the silent forklift is what draws them. Because, you know, naturally, zombies are attracted to silence, not sound. Like we're meant to believe. And also, how the hell is a stone gear that quiet? That was probably the most quietest mechanism I think I'd ever heard in my entire life. In fact, it didn't make a single sound. These, these ancient... This ancient civilization that built that are really advanced. Not only did they build a, me a mechanism that draws a bridge across a gap... But they also made it completely silent. Like, you'd think after about a hundred million years of this thing sitting here collecting rust and dust, it would be heavily squeaky and loud as the sound of stones scraping across stones. But no, that thing is a well-oiled machine. Completely silent. Like, you wouldn't have even known that it was activated had it not moved. And also, this is one pretty advanced civilization. They somehow made a mechanism. They made a gear mechanism for a bridge that rather than extending the bridge, it has a timer in which it waits until mechanisms fully extend the bridge rather than it gradually reaching the other side. It just does it all immediately rather than fully, you know, rather than gradually doing it. Which, I don't know how that makes any sense, in fact, that was probably the stupidest thing I think I've ever said, but... It doesn't really matter. Defend the area, I'm pretty sure I know what my objective is. Oh no. They're coming. And they don't expect it. But I have a secret weapon up my sleeve. And that is known as... Stupidity. 
also known as the Y button. Oh shit, the Y button's useless. Oh no. Alright. Oh, so is the B button. Okay. Oh, yep. Oh. They, they have figured out every plan of attack. Oh, oh, but they didn't expect that one. Here we go. No, oh, yep. No, they expected that one. Oh, wow. I somehow killed those enemies without even doing anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. Oh, yep. This is about what I remember. Oh. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Yep. It happened. I'm dead again. Splendid. Now I get to do all of that over again. And to think that there's still another thing where I have to fight a horde of... Grim. Wait, where am I? Am I back at the beginning? What the fuck? Oh, no. Oh no, that, that's where I draw the line. I am not starting the be from the beginning from here. That is ridiculous. My goodness, I, I thought I would be showing a little bit more respect. Oh hey, I leveled up. Oh, wow. Alright. Well, I think that's the end of this episode. Or not episode, but video. And um, remember to leave the video a like. Don't forget to always bring your scythe with you. And, um, check out my Twitter, subscribe to see some more bad entertainment. Bye-bye!